Yeah. Cause I felt like I caught it early, although it could have been dormant. Um, but in hopes as a mother is just like shortening the you know the crisis and everything like that mm, sure. if it's going to help them or not um but thank you for answering my questions you know i don't want to be one of those parents oh my just gosh, no, pessimistic not, it like makes me know that like you're such a caring attentive mom so yes, like you know, you know everyone has to Yeah, this is like my first real, real experience yeah, of having a crisis. Yeah, and this is this is first time yeah. having admitted, having a crisis and stuff. So like, it's totally valid. Yeah, thousand questions. Maybe repetition. <laughs> yes, so if you ever like forget and you can't get to be answered again, like I'm not gonna get mad at you. Thank so, you. I appreciate you yes, very much. Yes, of course. That's what we are here for. Good morning, honey gang. It's your girl Jess. Um. I decided not to do a mukbang today for you guys. I'm just going to vlog, and it's going to be a real quick vlog because at the end of the day, I got to be a mother, and that's first priority. But I do want to be transparent with you guys because I pride myself on being very transparent. Um, we are in the hospital. We have been in the hospital <clears throat> for 24 hours. I want to say a little over 24 hours. Um, but for them, it'll be 24 hours observation for my son. So, little June is in the hospital because he ended up catching the flu, flu A, and it triggered his crisis. Now, for those that um, recall that I emphasize that I have a son that has sickle cell disease. He has the sickle cell SS, and due to him having flu A, has extremely put him in a crisis state. He's been having nonstop fevers, spiking fevers. Um, his asthma has also increased more due to the fact of coughing and um, congestion. And right now, um, she just notified his temperature is 103. Um, it was just 104.5, but I mean, you know, a little bit goes a long, a long way as far as decreasing. Um, I also want to let you guys know that if you are not knowledgeable about sickle cell disease, um, do, you know, do some research. It doesn't hurt to learn something new <clears throat> if you have no knowledge of it. Um, but long story short, um, I knew that I had a sickle cell trait. I knew about that. Uh, my mom and dad always, you know, gave us our history as far as you know their backgrounds and our grandparents backgrounds um i think the day i found out he had um sickle cell disease was when he was really just born and they give you like the state um like they take they test the babies when they're first born and then they send you they send it off to the state and the state sent me and Elliot envelope one day when i was at home and um we saw pamphlets of you know, for the sickle cell disease, but really, you guys, you know, once again, being ignorant minded and scared, all I saw was my baby had a disease and I broke down miserably because, you know, I felt that it was something that I did, something I could have prevented. Um, once again, lack of knowledge of also having to get tested, you know what I'm saying, with your spouse or your, your person you're in a relationship with to see if they have any, you know, health issues. Um, so long story short, two sickle cell traits um, can produce a child with sickle cell disease. There's different types. And um, this is a new journey for my family and I. And um, this is, I wanna say, he's four. So this is, I wanna say, the first real, real crisis because he had one when he was really small, but I couldn't really tell, but because he's older now and more vocal on telling me where it hurts and stuff like that. Um, So really, if you wanna count it, he had two crises out of his four going on five year lifespan. 
which is a good thing because I've been trying to stay on top of that. But um, I want to say this is my first real recognition of what a crisis looks like, what him being in pain looks like. And it's very heart-wrenching, you guys. Um, if you have a sickle, a sickle cell trait, make sure that whomever you decide to build children with, you guys go get tested to see what other issues you guys might have. Um, you cannot prevent children. I mean, yes, people say use a condom, but let's be honest, you really can't prevent whatever is ordained to happen. So um, just make sure you at least stay up on your health and... Um, understand that you know some things are in your control and some things aren't be very um knowledgeable of preventions as far as if your child has a certain type of disease what you can do how to help them the groups to join um I, we are at an amazing hospital i wouldn't trade them for anything like my my son's been born here in texas and this one hospital they just are so on top bedside manner is amazing and i'm appreciative i had my moment which i'm trying not to do now but um i had my moment of breaking down i had my moment of you know like prayer and you know having understanding that there's nothing I can do as he try to fight the bacteria, you know, the flu bacteria infection. Um, once again, he has great doctors and nurses that's been on top of it <clears throat> and, and inform me constantly on what they're doing, what they're giving. I ask a lot of questions, you know, which is always best to ask a lot of questions, you guys. I'm not going to show too much of him due to the fact that, you know, it's about him, but it's not his state of being right now. I'd rather my child, you know, be shown happy, joyful. You know, we know children get sick, but we don't need to know or see too much of their down, their downtime. Um, I want to say that I appreciate you guys. It's not going to be a mukbang. I know that we had to put something out. I, I wanted to do this yesterday and I had a conversation with Ellie because it was just like, you know, I want to be informative because we bear it all. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to if feel that my child's being exploited, you know, although he is not. But, you know, this is just ignorance in the world that I would just be like, eh, you're doing YouTube and your baby is sick and you're trying to I'm not trying to do anything but inform people you know we are happy we are jolly we 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 you know like to have fun and stuff like that but as mothers you don't know exactly what Ellie and I are, are going through or dealing with you know we posted a video of my niece having colitis you know and it was only right that I post you know that that is sickle cell um has sickle cell and you know us being in the hospital right now because sometimes that's what i have to deal with and you guys don't know that um i hope you guys respect um as much as possible of this video and um once again read gain knowledge of sickle cell ss or just sickle cell disease in general you know and have more compassion for those that don't have stronger immune systems to fight off bacteria. Um, they're not sending him home or staying admitted due to the fact that he is constantly spiking in fevers. And um, it really makes no sense for them to send him home when he's doing okay. And then if he spikes a fever at home, I'll have to come back here. Like, I have to. It's not no, oh, you got a fever at home, and I can give you Tylenol, Motrin, Ibuprofen. It doesn't work for um, sickle cell patients like that. They really have to get 10 times more medicines and fluids through their body to help assist them. You guys would not have known much or which child would have um, the sickle cell disease because my children are overall jolly, happy, lovable, and, and, <clears throat> and sensitive. 
So, um, I just want to be transparent with you guys that you know that um, people do deal with issues. There's there's bigger things outside of recording and um, making y'all laugh all the time. Um, we do speak and provoke <clears throat> positivity and high vibrations. Um, so, at this moment, I'm going to continue to have high vibrations for my son. And, you know... Except that it's it's okay for me to cry at the moments where he's in the most excruciating pain and I can't assist him, you know, because that's something that's really out of my control. But I do verbally encourage him and speak to him as he go as he's going through these these crises. That you know, I'm here. I'm sorry, you gotta go through this. You know, I wish I could do more, but we're gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this. You're doing great. You're doing awesome. And um, I'm going to add some pictures of June when he's happy and jolly. <clears throat> so that way you guys can see him on his best days. Um, but until next time, honey gang, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when your girls upload our next video. Thank you for your patience. And um, I will update you guys hopefully when they release us out of here. Bye, honey gang. Love and light. No, no thanks, Dad. Yeah, we got a dump. There's too much in there. Dump it. Yeah, dump it. All right, baby.